Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who ordered a Tesla using my referral code. And now that I have passed the 50,000 miles mark on my Tesla Model 3, I've done a video about that and experience. I want to do something about the battery, battery degradation. Now, let me give you a little bit. This is, if you're new on the channel, thank you. Uh... This is a Tesla Model 3, a rear wheel drive, uh, bought it in uh, late uh, uh, of 2018, I have it about 14 months or so. Uh, it is the 310 miles originally, then got a boost to 325. Because we're talking about battery degradation, tell you right off the bat, I've never seen a 310 miles when I fully charge it when it was 310 and I never see 325 when I fully charge it when it was 325 and I got to tell you that I test charging it uh, this uh, last night I'm going to show you the results in a minute and it was a 24 degree morning so it's very very cold so now I have 50,000 miles because I drove a lot of long long trip uh, driving Florida a couple times, uh, Canada, many trips that I do during the year. That's the 50,000. I do a lot of ride sharing, so that contributes to that. So I drive a lot. That's why I have so many miles. Now, uh, charging, I charge it every night to about 280 miles or so, 80, 85% or so of the full battery because I do do ride sharing. Uh, also, I charge this car about 50 to 60 times supercharging because of my long trip drives daily i charge at home at work but about between 50 and 60 uh, uh, uh supercharging uh, um, uh, times during my trips so that's basically the history of the car did not require any major maintenance just you know tires uh, nothing i mean whenever i fill a cabin filter one time that's it so didn't have any issues mechanically knock on wood uh, uh per se so Let's take the 325. So here's what I got this morning, 305 miles. So if you do the calculation, it's a 93.8% uh, of 325. And I can tell you, I never saw 325 when I got it in the summer. So it never shows you what it is. I guarantee you, and I will do it maybe when we get 50 degrees or 60 degrees sometime, uh, I will do a fully charged and I'm sure I'm going to get... 315 or 16 because I got it when I was in Florida just the past Christmas. So if I am to predict battery degradation after 50,000 miles, obviously this morning shows 6.2% of degradation, a loss, uh, I would say it's maybe 3%, maybe half of that, maybe 3%. And to me, 3% is basically negligible. Negligible. Now, have you, as you know, and I this I do a lot of videos about a, a, a range in the winter is significantly less. Battery performance, all those things are significantly less than in the summer. So we can take that with a grain of salt. So I, I would say after 50,000 miles to me, the battery is as good as it was when I bought it. Really, it is incredibly impressive that after 50,000 miles, these are the results that I get. Uh, like I said, I got 317 rated range just a couple months ago when I was in Florida. And, uh, and, and that is impressive. We all know that Tesla's biggest advantage among all kinds of advantages is their battery technology and their charging speed, especially with the Model 3. And it gets better and better as we as we know. So if you are a Tesla Model 3 owner and you have a lot of miles, you know, if you just bought it, no big deal. But if you have a lot of miles, please do that experience. Let us know in the comments what is your battery degradation. I say it's negligible. It's almost nothing. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.